everyone, new season means new stuff in stores and I've been picking up a few things in the last few weeks so I thought I'd do a haul video but I also wanted to break it up into two parts so today's video is going to be makeup and beauty and then in an upcoming video I will do clothing and accessories. <laughs> One of the things I recently got at CVS is this really cute powder from Physicians Formula and it's the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Powder. The blushes also have this adorable heart design like this powder does and of course that's what drew me to it at first but the blushes ended up being really awesome. So I wanted to try this one out too. It says that an ultra smooth perfecting powder and a complimentary palette of color blends together to even out skin tone with a flawless radiance. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Another similar type of powder that I picked up is from Milani, and this is the Milani Illuminating Face Powder. I got two of them. This one is Hermosa Rose, and this one is Amber Nectar. I have the other one already, and it's the Beauty's Touch. I haven't even used this one that much. I used it today right on top of my blush. I think they're nice. They just give you that subtle glowy effect on your cheeks on top of your blush. So I wanted to get two more. A few more things from Milani, and this one is the Milani Liquid Eye. This is a liquid-like eyeliner pencil. Smooth, liquid-like application with high color payoff, waterproof, paraben-free. Sharpen with Milani's Duo Sharpener. Oh, I didn't realize you have to sharpen it. Hmm. Okay. It is so pigmented and black and creamy, so I'm really interested to see how this applies on the eyes. Wow, that is so pigmented. So hopefully it doesn't smudge too much because it is so creamy. There's a chance that it could smudge, but I'm really excited to try it out. And this one is the Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. I already took it out of the packaging. And this is a transparent lip liner, so it doesn't give off any color whatsoever. It's supposed to prevent your lipstick and your lip gloss and liquid lipstick from bleeding around your mouth. And then the third Milani thing that I got in right here is the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I wanted to get this because I love Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. Love it. It's so good. It's like glue and it just keeps your brows in place and in check. But it is $20 and this one I think is $5 or something around there. So I wanted to try this out to see if I can get this in the future instead of paying $20 for the clear brow gel from Anastasia. There was another Milani product that I forgot to mention and it's the Milani Eye Tech Liquid Eyeliner. I'm on the hunt for an inexpensive, awesome liquid eyeliner. Right now I'm wearing the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner and I like it but it is 20 plus dollars or so. I've heard that the Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner from Stila can dry out pretty fast. Right now it still works for me but I'm just kind of getting ready in case it does start to dry out. I want to find something that's a lot less expensive. So I thought I'd try this one as well and it is really small and I'm not the best with liquid eyeliner. I'm learning. I thought maybe the small size can make it easy to apply. I don't know, we'll see. And I got another liquid eyeliner and this one is the Fabi Liner Liquid Eyeliner from Jordana. And you can get this at Walgreens. It was really inexpensive, like $3 or so. And my favorite pencil liner is from Jordana, so I thought this would also be a good one to try. I also picked up these two Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights at CVS. And I heard great things about these. When you can mix them into your foundation, it gives you that really great glow. I have really oily skin, but you want to have that glowiness to you without looking oily. And then you also don't want to look dull with a really, really matte foundation. I also wanted to see if they work well for my very oily skin. I picked up a couple lipsticks, and this one is a Kate Moss lipstick from Rimmel, and I believe it's one of their new spring 2014 lipsticks. And this one is number 113, and it's a nude. I love the Rimmel lipsticks, but I don't have that many, and I only have, I think, two Kate Moss lipsticks. So this one looks like a pretty simple, basic nude. I think it will be good for spring. And this one is one of the new Maybelline lipsticks. It's in Ravishing Rose, but this is the spring 2014 line. I got one of the lipsticks from the Buffs collection and I really liked it. So when I saw this and I thought it was really pretty, 
I figured no harm in trying that out. I bought some lashes and I figured why not throw them into this haul. This one is the Katy Perry lashes from Eyelier and this is the one I wear in every one of my videos. I also got a pair of the Demi 101 Ardell lashes. I've never tried this pair. And then these are the Demi lashes that a lot of people love and this is the Ardell 120 Demi and the Ardell 109s. I like wearing these to work or just on a day where you don't want to look like you're really wearing lashes but you just want that extra oomph because I don't have very many lashes so I could use all the help that I can get. Pastels have been on my radar recently and I wanted to pick up some new nail polishes for spring. So this one is the OPI polish in Pinking of You which is a really cute name and I'm wearing that right now. I really like it. It's pretty streaky but it took me three coats to make it look okay. I love this shade of pink so much that I'm kind of letting that streakiness slide and just loving it anyway because I love this shade of pink. It's like the perfect cotton candy pink. And this one is a lavender and this is Lucky Lucky Lavender. I've been wanting to get this one for a while but I've been resisting. Now that it's spring, I just think it's perfect and I wanted to pick it up so I thought these two would be perfect to add to my collection. <laughs> This is a MAC lipstick in Rose Lily. I got this a few weeks ago and I've already shown this I think in my makeup organization video and it was in my collection of MAC lipsticks. I wore this today for the first time and it's a really really sheer basic light pink and it's really pretty. I wore Revlon's Color Burst Lip Gloss in Crystal Lilac on top. I also picked up a MAC blush and this is a mineralized blush in Dainty. I finally used it once in the last few days and I loved it. It's so pigmented. It's a pink but it has a little bit of peach in there and I think it'll be perfect for spring. And I also got a Bobbi Brown blush and this one is an apricot. Essie Button and Miss Glamorazzi both love it and I've never tried a Bobbi Brown blush so I thought I'd get this and it is so pretty and I think it'll be the perfect spring blush. That's what I'm going for with this haul. I wanted to try all these different blushes and different things that could really make things pop and look fresh so I am so excited to wear this. <laughs> And that's it for the makeup, but I wanted to mention a few body care beauty things that I picked up. And this is the Aveeno Positively Nourishing Antioxidant Infused Body Wash in White Peach and Ginger. I first got this last summer or so. It is back in my life. I'm so excited. This is going to be my spring summer body wash. I just love peach scents. So if you love peach too and you don't want to spend too much money on the higher end peach products, I recommend this one. It is so good. And then at Victoria's Secret, I picked up three products, and these are from their new spring line. So this one is Pure Seduction Bloom. I love Pure Seduction. It is my favorite scent from Victoria's Secret. So when I saw this, I had to get it. And this packaging is gorgeous. I don't know if it's really going to show you on camera how bright this is, but in person, it is a glowing neon coral. It is so pretty. And so this one is the hydrating body lotion and then I also got the fragrance mist. This is a floral version of Pure Seduction. Not too floral though because I don't like floral scents very much. This one has just that slight floral scent where it doesn't make it as sweet as Pure Seduction. So Pure Seduction is, let's see here, a violet blossom with red currant scent. It just smells amazing. You really have to just go in the store and smell it if you've never tried it before. And then I also got one more because it was, I think, buy three for $25 or no, that doesn't sound right. Buy three for 15 or something like that. And this one is the Victoria's Secret Love Spell Bloom. In college, not in college, sorry, in high school slash middle school, my scent, my signature scent was Love Spell. I don't know if any of you were on that same boat, but I feel like a lot of girls my age at that time loved Love Spell. And this just brought back so many memories. I don't really like the Love Spell scent anymore. When I go up to it and try it out, I just don't like it anymore. I grew out of it. But I tried this and I liked it. So I think the floralness 
about the bloom line helped make me like Love Spell. The Gardenia Petals and Berry Blossom scent. And if you see these in store, I suggest you smell them, sniff them out, and see if you like them because I think this is a great thing to add to your whole spring haul if you will. And that is it for the spring haul. I think it's not a lot of stuff, but it's a good amount, a very comfortable amount. So I am ready to welcome spring. I also have the necklaces and just different types of accessories and clothing for another haul video coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And please subscribe if you haven't already just so you know when that video comes and then I'm also going to be throwing in an ipsy glam bag unbagging and I think that is it so thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day that is why I'm wearing my green have a safe time celebrating and I will see you all again really soon bye <laughs>